Hello there. Welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm working on two canvases. Um, both are 8 by 10 inches. And um, today's aim was to use just black and white. So two paintings, one black on top of white and the other one white on top of black. Of course, I need to add a little bit of glitter to it. So I'm adding uh, 24 karat gold by deco art so on the first canvas I'm going to put down white base and use um, I don't know if this is correct shades of black so I have two shades of black one by artist loft and the other one by liquidex I will also be adding um, iridescent graphite paints gray and uh, a pearl size arteza paint so this actually make five different shades of black with a little bit of gold and I'm attempting to make blooms. Um, I have done two blooms before so I just wanted to try it out, see how black and white combination would look with this kind of composition. So that's the vision for the project. The first one I'm going to start with white base and start layering the black paint. So let's see how this one works. Let's get the paints down on the canvas. All right, uh, white base is down. Let's pop these air bubbles. All right, on to layering. I'm starting with Artist Loft Black Soft Body Acrylic Black, okay? And then I have Arteza's pearl sized dark shade. Liquitex Mars Black. And then Paints Gray. Iridescent Graphite by Liquidex. And then teeny bit of the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. All right, I think that's good. Let's pop these air bubbles. All right, I'm using the world's tiniest blower, the orange colored one. I have a homemade attachment to the tip of it. So let's use this and see how this one turns out. Perfect, that's good. That's enough of the blower there. All right, now defining the petals. that's it looks beautiful huh pretty neat all right let's try the white flower on a black background all right popping these air bubbles now starting with the unbleached titanium 
just following the same method. Next is titanium white. Next is parchment white. Next I have the pearl sized Arteza shade of real pearl, natural pearl. A little bit of zinc white and then the 24 karat gold yeah that's good all right I see a lot of air bubbles that's it now let's blow this and make it look more like a flower I didn't want that to go down the canvas, but it is what it is. Let's fix these edges. Maybe overall the paint was a little too much, but that's all right. Let's fix those petals. I'm gonna scrape this because it's, the more I look at it, the more it feels unproportional. It's too big for this size of canvas. So I'll be right back, all right? All right, for this attempt, I took out the pearl size Arteza because they were making cells which kind of did not uh, look with the bloom. So I took that one out, used rest of uh, the paints in the same order and look at this, no cells. That's what you want while doing this kind of flowers. All right, this ran off, I'm gonna fix that. The base is what I scraped off. Just mixed it up so it's it's kind of that dark uh, graphite color. Um, that's what I use for the base. All right, so let's 
make the edges proper now. All right, it's just a little bit offset. So that might be the reason that it's flowing off. All right, I will bring you down for a close up. After I scraped this, um, I omitted this uh, Arteza pearl, pearlized paint and I added silver instead of the gold and see how much difference that made, right? So I think I like these two now. I'll bring you down and show you how this looks close up. All right, here is the black on white bloom. I love the addition of the silver, I'll tell you that. The shape of the petals also, this one looks better. Uh, I do see a little bit of cells here. I hope it's uh, just that and not something that would get bigger. That would ru ruin this painting. But now it looks good, right? I kind of like this one. Um, the first one, I think I had less paint, so the white was showing up uh, too much. It looked like there was uh, not enough black so I added a little bit extra black on this one and I like how this one looks now and I just hope that there is no more cells for me on the other one I do see a little bit of cells forming and here it is right those two cells right there <laughs> it wasn't there it just popped um, after like five minutes but these uh, both of these blooms look beautiful. That's very pretty. Let me take you closer. There's the gold shimmer. The gold didn't give me cells, so I'm happy with that. But it does define the center of the flower, so that's the reason I wanted to add a little bit of gold in there. And um, the first time I added gold here as well, but when I scraped it, I'm like, okay, let me just try silver and I like it better than the gold here. All right, I don't know if I'll be able to catch it. Yes, I can. Here we go, the two blooms, black on white and then kind of white on black. All right, that's it for today. If you've liked how these paintings have turned out, do hit that thumbs up button and please do support my art channel through your subscription, likes and comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.